the complete rehab programming shoulder course for physios, exercise physiologists, and other allied health professionals upskills you on exercise prescription and rehab programming for shoulder pain, rotator cuff injuries, impingement, and post-surgical rehabilitation. This course has a high practical component where you will learn the latest and most effective mobility and strengthening exercises, as well as understand how to create rehabilitation programs for specific injuries and surgery. The shoulder can be one of the most frustrating, painful, and difficult regions of the body to rehabilitate. Shoulder pain and injuries require specific stabilization, strengthening, and motor control exercises that simply cannot be achieved with conventional training exercises. Exercises. Your rehab plans should be individually tailored to meet the needs and the goals of each unique client. I've had a full surgical repair of my shoulder, so I know firsthand what it takes and all the correct exercises and protocols to use. This is your chance to learn directly from someone who has had shoulder injuries and surgery and treated countless others with all types of shoulder problems. Head to physiorehab.com for all the details and how to register. If you can't do the basics and do the movement patterns really well and know internally what you're supposed to be feeling, then you'll have a really, really hard time trying to educate that client of what to do. The rotator cuff's job is to keep that ball snug in the socket, sitting centered, while the big boys do all the work of moving the arm. Get that right, isn't that pretty good? And then push that forward as you go. Push, 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 push. Push your body away from the wall. Sometimes I get them to go, actually, can you pull your shoulder blade back? And get a little yeah. bit more. There's a big difference from here to here. So you might have to graduate this with some clients. They might be here on a green, and then you have to go here on a red, because it's harder, drop the load off, go to a red, bring it down, build them back up again. And then you've got to keep this back here, almost like pinch their skin, and say, this has got to stay back until the, you finish those again, and then you can let it go into a step row. Arm, um, shoulder blade, arm. Um, arm, um, shoulder blade, yeah. yeah. And it's the same as the press as well. So even though, when he does a row, he's going to get more attraction, his upper trap won't fire up because his lat's going to take over. Okay, so when he does a full row, pull down for me. When he pulls into the row down here, this will pull the shoulder blade down when he retracts even more. Into the pressure there. So there is some retraction, but the way the rhombus are, they're on, but I'm trying to teach you to retract with pressure. There's the bias there. So I say there's some retraction going on this exercise. It means I don't have to do any overhead work with the shoulder. I can just focus on that.